topic is about high density lipoprotein that is HDL. So basic function of that HDL that is transferring of cholesterol molecule from peripheral tissue to the liver. Now over this HDL lipoprotein the most important apolipoprotein present that is ApoA1. Now apart from that some other apolipoprotein present like ApoA2, ApoC and ApoE. So that is all about basic thing of the HDL high density lipoprotein. How exactly this HDL is metabolized? So here you have to understand that this HDL is not produced by the liver. It is produced by the intestinal cell. Now from this intestinal cell what are this HDL produced that is called a nascent HDL or newly synthesized HDL. Now this newly synthesized HDL that is initially discoid in shape. The basic function of this nascent HDL to take up free cholesterol from the peripheral tissue and for taking up of this free cholesterol initial that cholesterol efflux regulator protein is needed which is an one type of a ATP binding cassette protein or otherwise short form that is ABC protein in nature. Now this <coughs> free cholesterol from the peripheral tissue will be go in the nascent HDL and for that particular ApoA1 of HDL so ApoA1 apolipoprotein present over the HDL which is activating one enzyme that is called LCAT that is lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase now this LCAT that is lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase this enzyme is present over the HDL apart from that activating by this ApoA1 this lecithin which is also present over the HDL so lecithin that is one type of a phosphatidylcholine over that phosphatidylcholine that PUFA or polyunsaturated fatty acid is present over the second carbon of the phosphatidylcholine this PUFA will attach over the free cholesterol so once it is attached over the free cholesterol then this free cholesterol is converted into the cholesterol ester this cholesterol ester which is now internalized inside the HDL because it is hydrophobic in nature once there is an excess amount of this free cholesterol is converted into the cholesterol ester and moves into the interior of the HDL or high density lipoprotein now this process will be continue so initially which is discoid in shape that is HDL now it is converted into the spherical shape so that shape is called a HDL3 so high density lipoprotein 3 that is spherical in shape which is initially produced that is discoid in shape. Now furthermore in detail of this HDL so basic function or whatever the activity is occurring with the help of activation of LCAT that is lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase. So what happened peripheral tissue from that cholesterol is transported to the liver. So ultimately this cholesterol will be excreted with the help of bile so that is the basic function why because cholesterol is not excreted in from our body only route to excrete cholesterol from our body that is the bile so <clears throat> in detail of this hdl this hdl level that is inversely related to the myocardial infarction so it is called an anti atherogenic or protective in nature otherwise good cholesterol because it is shifting cholesterol from peripheral tissue to the liver previously we have seen that when this cholesterol is deposited that can lead to the atheromatous plaque or atherosclerosis will be there now further in detail the level of hdl below 35 that can increase the risk of the atherosclerosis as well as coronary artery disease but oppositely if HDL level is above 60 mg per deciliter gives protection from the coronary artery disease these two value you have to remember now further in detail of exactly how this HDL is taken up so this mature HDL that is spherical in shape that will be go in the liver and for that ApoA1 which is same which is activating LCAT again this ApoA1 is mediated receptor this receptor name is called a scavenger receptor B1 that is called SRB1 so these are present over the liver and with the help of ApoA1 this mature HDL will be taken up inside the liver now furthermore this same receptor SRB1 is also present in the peripheral tissue they are not internalized cholesterol inside the liver 
or inside the tissue but this SRB1 which are present over the peripheral tissue that will add cholesterol into the HDL. So this HDL will convert it into the spherical in shape. Now whatever the HDL or cholesterol taken up inside the liver this hepatic lipase hydrolyze the HDL molecule whatever the phospholipid present over the HDL and triacylglycerol present in the HDL. So lastly that HDL will be metabolized inside the liver with the help of hepatic lipase enzyme. Now further this cholesterol ester so used for the synthesis of the bile acid and it is lastly excreted in the form of bile and also this bile acid will be secreted in the form of bile salt. So that is how this mature HDL is taken up inside the liver with the help of scavenger receptor B1 where APOA1 mediated activity is needed. Furthermore, this HDL which is taking up the cholesterol ester. So this cholesterol ester is sometime donated to the VLDL, IDL and LDL. So HDL is donating cholesterol ester sometime to the these other three lipoprotein that is VLDL, IDL and LDL and for that CETP that is cholesterol ester transfer protein so that transfer of cholesterol ester from HDL to VLDL, IDL and LDL will occur. Furthermore when this cholesterol ester is donated sometimes this TAG will be taken up from this VLDL, IDL and LDL to the HDL. So sometime this VLDL, IDL and LDL in exchange of cholesterol ester transporting triacylglycerol and that molecule is called a HDL2. So these different kind of HDL fraction are generated depending on the metabolism. So this HDL2 will be generated when this TAG is getting transfer from VLDL, IDL, LDL to the HDL. So basic Two enzyme is most important for the HDL metabolism that is LCAT lecithin cholesterol SL transferase and CETP cholesterol ester transfer protein. So that is cholesterol ester transfer protein. Now further basic function of HDL so simple that already we have seen that transporting of cholesterol from peripheral tissue to the liver. This is called a reverse cholesterol transfer by the HDL molecule. The only excretory route of cholesterol from the body is the bile. Now excretion of cholesterol needs prior esterification with the PUFA that is polyunsaturated fatty acid. So this PUFA will help in lowering of overall cholesterol level in the body and so PUFA is considered the anti atherogenic nature. So at least one third quantity or some amount of PUFA is always needed in our body. So again this HDL1 is mostly containing ApoE, li apolipoprotein, HDL2 that is always considered anti-atherogenic nature and HDL3 it has a further three sub fraction that is 3A, 3B and 3C. The detail of is still not clear but you have to remember HDL is also of a three part HDL1, 2 and 3. Now <clears throat> what is the clinical significance? The level of HDL in serum is inversely related to the incidence of myocardial infarction means high level of HDL low chances of the myocardial infarction low level of HDL high chances of the myocardial infarction as this HDL is a protective in nature so it is considered a good cholesterol in common. Now H for healthy so HDL is considered a healthy lipoprotein. Already we have seen that level of below 35 more risk of myocardial infarction above 60 there is a good for the coronary artery disease. Now again we will look that summary <coughs> so liver cholesterol so initially it is secreted in the form of VLDL now this VLDL is converted into the IDL when triacylglycerol is taken up by the peripheral tissue then this VLDL is converted into the IDL. This IDL is again take, uh, donating some triacylglycerol and then it will be converted into the LDL that is low density lipoprotein and this LDL is taken up by the peripheral tissue as well as some part will be taken up by the liver but majority so this LDL is taken up by the peripheral tissue so basically it is transportation of cholesterol from liver to the peripheral tissue so it is considered bad cholesterol because it is depositing cholesterol to the peripheral tissue particularly heart it is very dangerous. Now 
Oppositely, intestine, it is particularly producing nascent HDL, means newly synthesized HDL that we have seen that initially it is discoid in shape. So, this nascent HDL take up cholesterol from the peripheral tissue with the help of CETP. That is, now, this nascent HDL will be converted into the molecule that is HDL3. Now this HDL3 that is containing cholesterol ester, sometime cholesterol ester transport protein that is transporting cholesterol from HDL3 molecule to the VLDL as well as it is transporting to the LDL and oppositely it will get a triacylglycerol molecule over the HDL3. Now this HDL3 will be converted into a HDL2. Now this HDL2 will be taken up by the liver. So that liver will take up this HDL2 molecule. Lastly, whatever this cholesterol is taken up by the liver is ultimately excreted. But before that, that HDL is considered good cholesterol because it is transporting cholesterol from peripheral tissue to the liver. Now, whatever this cholesterol present in liver will be excreted in the form of the bile. So, bile is the only excretory route for the cholesterol in our body. So, that is basic how this HDL metabolism is occurring inside our body.